Is it a functional layout? Is the kitchen well designed? Does it flow properly? Is it a long distance between the kitchen and the serving area? You know, I'm well, years ago when I was a student, we were working in a premises where we had to, two flights of stairs to the kitchen. Okay, when you're 19 years old, but then again, doesn't matter whether you're 19 or 59 or 69 or whatever, it's still extra walking, extra time, extra labor. That adds to the cost. So it functions well, short distances between kitchen, serving area, public areas, storage areas, it all helps. How are the public areas? Does it look like the landlord cares for the building? If it looks really rough outside or and if the shared toilets are in bad condition, it doesn't look good. People talk, they find out how the landlord is like. If you're a bad landlord who doesn't do the right thing, it does come back to you other ways. So develop a good relationship with the landlord and make sure things are up to date so they look good all the time. It's a win-win situation for both parties. The landlord's got to understand this. Is there a good database? Do they keep a strong database? Are they utilizing the database? Now, you may have a good database and you may not be using it. That's not a major problem, but it provides more opportunities for the new owner when you become to sell it. So that really helps. It's not a major thing people look for. It is a strong consideration as well too. Your social media presence, is it good, high or low? Are you getting good reviews? A lot of interest in your premises. It helps. Have you got a good website? Are you attracting people from your website? Good buyers, work it out. There are software programmers to work out the traffic on the website. Is the traffic increasing over time? Is it decreasing? Is it flat? Is there any interest in updating the website on a regular basis? Does it look shabby? Is it well presented? Does it give a good image of your restaurant? Another one which, depending on where you could be an issue, is good parking. You know, fair enough, you live in a CBD situation where there's parking, good public transport, that might be a problem. But if you're in the suburbs, people want to know there's parking so they can drive there and park their car there. I haven't to travel to walk, I haven't walk long distances to visit your restaurant. So take things into consideration. Have a good relationship with the landlord and Go through all these items.